Hey, it's Tony Seal. Welcome to the 13th episode of the podcast, Build Your Business, Change Your Life. This is the podcast of Irresistible Influence Marketing and TonySeal.com. I'm your host, Tony Seal, and today we'll be talking about the most powerful force for marketing online, which is email marketing. What makes email marketing so powerful? Stay tuned for the answer. If you're a regular reader of my blog, TonySeal.com, I hope that I've established for you that email marketing is the most lucrative way to build an internet business. The return on investment is very high, the entry costs are very low, and this makes email marketing a great opportunity to scale your business from small expenses to big profits. Before we go any further, let me give you some surprising statistics about email marketing. I was speaking to Christine and she reminded me that it takes on average 8 to 10 touches before someone buys. So you may be wondering, who's Christine? She was my sales rep at Outreach.com when I was a pastor. She's who I worked with when I was setting up a direct mail campaign for my church. The multiple touches isn't any different online, and that gets to the power of your email marketing. Even with great SEO, a website isn't enough. Your website is competing with Amazon and a host of other mega sites. How can you compete with the big boys? With email marketing. According to the Radicati Group, and I may have butchered that name. There are an estimated 3.93 billion email accounts worldwide today, and that number is expected to grow to over 4 billion by 2020. Why should you use email marketing? Here are three excellent reasons. First, email marketing is 40 times more effective for gathering customers than Facebook or Twitter. Social media can do many things, but turning prospects into customers is what email does best. Number two, People spend 138% more on products they purchase through email solicitations than people who do not receive promotional emails. Three, return on investment from email marketing is off the charts. In three studies, the results were 3,700% return on investment, 3,800% return on investment, and 4,200% return on investment. Take your pick. They're all fantastic. Whether it's $37 for every marketing dollar that you pay, $38, or $42. Here are three short tips for creating outstanding emails. First, focus on great subject lines. If you don't get opens, you're not getting the chance to engage with your prospects. So really work hard on compelling subject lines. Second, keep your subject line short. MailChimp suggests 50 characters or less. Eight words or less is a common benchmark. Third, focus your email content on fulfilling the promise in your subject line. This is called congruence, and it's very important. Great content is what will keep your subscribers opening your emails. Great content is what you need to make sales. Allow me to offer two models for email marketing. While there are many approaches to email marketing, here are two very popular ways. We'll call the first approach the three email approach. I learned this from my first mentor, and I've got a link in the blog post that accompanies this podcast to give you even more information about it. In the first email, focus on a pain point that your email subscribers can relate to. For example, if your niche is weight loss, you might want to get your subscribers thinking about Thanksgiving Day if your list has a lot of Americans. Thanksgiving Day could be called National Overeating Day. And overeating definitely is an issue for subscribers in the weight loss niche. What might you say that would connect your audience to their feelings around that pain point? You could direct your subscribers to a new blog post that you've written on this topic. In the second email, deepen or amplify the problem and offer your solution. It could be the Black Friday weight loss extravaganza, where you offer your product at a great Black Friday price. What are the benefits that your product or service offers? How does your product or service answer your prospect's problem? In the third email, urgency is the key. This is the final email in your sequence, so either you motivate action or your campaign lands with a thud or whimper. Does your offer have an expiration date? Is there a limited number of slots in your program? Will you offer bonuses that expire when this offer ends? Whatever you have to offer, do so with a sense of urgency in this final email. Okay, that's the three email approach. Let's call the second email approach the 6-day approach. This is what I generally do, and I learned the basics of this approach from email marketing guru Ben Settle. 
Settle advocates for doing daily emails, but some weeks he only sends emails on Monday through Saturday, sometimes only Monday through Friday. I generally don't do emails on Sundays, but here's what I do on Monday through Saturday. In your first email, introduce your offer in a way that's enjoyable for your subscribers to read. Show them why what you have to sell will benefit them. Here are the words of Ben Settle in an interview about his approach. I guess if I had to sum it up, the Ben Settle way of doing email is to go out there every day and have fun with your email, whatever you're selling. Now, Matt, Matt is the guy who was, who was conducting the interview. When I say fun, that doesn't necessarily mean slapstick happy. I mean, some people sell products that are serious. That's fine. What I mean is that you're enjoying yourself. They're enjoying reading your emails. You're selling something people really want, something they need. They're happy to pay you for it because you're selling it to them in a way where they like to buy. That is really the basics of my system when you do it. That's what happens. Ben makes it clear in his welcome email when people join his list that he emails every day. He repeats that in subsequent emails. Sometimes he emails more than once a day. The key is that he's prepped his list for his approach. As someone who's on his list, I can tell you that I open a lot of his emails. Why does Ben advocate for daily emails? Again, Ben in his own words. There are a lot of reasons. One reason is, I'll give you two big reasons. One is procrastination. People will procrastinate. People will have decided to buy it three weeks ago. Today's email finally pushed them over the edge and they buy it. People will tell me this. This isn't like this is my theory or anything. I hear this all the time. Ben, you bastard. You got me. I hear stuff like that. You got me today. I had to buy. I get that a lot of, or variations of that a lot. That's one reason. Another reason is they build on each other. If people are hearing from you every day or five days a week, all those emails start building on each other. You become the leader in that niche, whatever you're in, or you become a leader at it. You're someone who has demonstrated your competency and your knowledge and your skill level in whatever it is you sell. You're the one they know, like, and trust after a while. You become their trusted friend. If you do it right, you're not sitting there blatantly pitching every day. Again, you're making it valuable. You're making it worth their time to read it, and you're making yourself stand out from everyone else. You can only do that if it's daily. You really can't do that on a weekly or monthly or whatever email. If you're thinking that you can't do that, listen to Ben once more. Here's the solution to that. How's that saying go? Is it time expands to fit work or something? Whatever it is, you don't have to put three hours in to every email. I would say set a timer for 20 minutes and give yourself 20 minutes to write an email. It's, oh God, I can't do that. Yes, you can, because it doesn't have to be long. It can be a paragraph. It really doesn't matter. You don't want to write regularly. The more you do it, the faster and easier it gets anyway. The first several times, I'm not going to lie to you. It can be hard, especially if you don't like writing. This is what I always give my customers this thing I call a 30-day challenge. I lay out, write this kind of email Monday. Write this one on Tuesday. I do that for that very reason they, so they get used to it. I do that for that very reason so they get used to it. By the end of it, they see their sales going up, and that will motivate them. Let's face it. If you're going, if your sales going, if your sales dramatically go up or double or something, that's pretty good motivation to write an email every day. If you're on my list, if you're on my email list, you know that my regular if you're on my list, you know that my regular emails are longer than a 20 minute dash off. I subscribe to the more you tell, the more you sell school. But you can write a 20 minute conversational email and it could work for you. The point is to find out what works for you. Maybe it's a three email sequence. Maybe it's a daily email. Find the frequency and style that works best for you. In other words, experiment. You've been listening to Build Your Business, Change Your Life, the podcast of Irresistible Influence Marketing and TonySteel.com. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to our next time together. In our next episode, we'll be talking about broadcasting your message far and wide through multi-channel marketing. I'm going to work toward covering all the bases of starting and building your online business. As always, we want you to make maximum sales and income. That's what Build Your Business, Change Your Life is about. You won't want to miss our next episode. And I hope you'll join us.